let's go back to your writing because I think it is so special. And just talking about uh, Real to Me is one of those songs where there's so many layers to it. One, because I think a lot of people have trouble validating their feelings. Yeah. And that's kind of what is going on in that song for you on a couple different levels uh, when I listen to it. But when you're sitting there writing that song, was it easy to pull? Do you have, a, was there a lot of things around you that you're like, wow, all these people are just saying like, oh, it'll be like this and it'll feel like this. And so what was that process of writing that song? Like you said, it's, it was a mixture of a lot of things. And I started talking to Laura Veltz, my co-writer for that song. And I was just kind of telling her where I was in life and in my artistry as well. I was trying to figure out who I was as a person, who I was as an artist, what I wanted to write about, what I wanted to sound like, all of these things. And I was like, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to write about. I don't drink. I don't drive. <laughs> like, but yeah, I mean, it's a really special song, and I, I really love it. It's still my favorite. What, w is there a certain reason that you chose it for the title of your EP? I feel like all five songs are about being comfortable in your own skin and figuring out who you are and, like you said, just kind of validating whatever it is that you're feeling at the time. And so it's been my favorite since the day I wrote it when I was 14. And I'm 18 now, and it's still a really special one to me. What an amazing song to write when you're 14, <laughs> also. And so, when you're when you're writing those, how many songs have you do you have pen to paper right now hmm. that you're like, I'm going to record these songs? Ooh, well, I write a lot, a lot. <laughs> Whether it's like, hmm, I started this random thing and I'll probably never finish it, to things I've written by myself to things I've done, official co-writes in Nashville. I would say around 200 songs um, since I was 14. It's it's something that I do all the time, though. And if I write something by myself, it's at the point where I, I never stop writing it just because I always have something that I want to change. Is that, <laughs> is, that a, is that hard for you? Yeah, yeah, so it could be more than 200 if I would actually be like, yeah, that's a good decision and keep it. <laughs> So how did you how did you choose the five for the EP? Is that the just the ones you've had recorded already, or were those chosen specifically and the others left out? Those were the top five for a while. I had been playing a lot of shows, different listening room type venues, and like I was telling you, I got to play them for a lot of different crowds just to see which ones everyone really liked, and those five always stood out. When did you write It's Cause I Am? I wrote It's Cause I Am at the end of... 2019 and I thought I had the five songs that I was going to go into studio and cut and I was sure I had everything that I needed and so I just went in with Laura Veltz again and Cameron James two incredible humans and I just started ranting to them about where I was and Laura does this thing where she just she starts either recording or writing down whatever I'm saying she did that with real to me she did this with it's because I am and that song obviously it's very sassy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's I very just bluesy, <laughs> too. It had, like, I felt good about you singing it here because it's just Chicago being a blues town also. Yeah. And it felt like it had that blues vibe to it. And totally. Yeah, I love that. Well, when I wrote that one, it, um, I honestly didn't think much of it at first. And it was just a way for me to get out a lot of feelings. And then my team heard it. And then everyone was like, you need to cut this and you go into studio next month. And so that's what it that's what I did. And now it's my top 20 single. <laughs> what I love about music is the interpretation is different for every person. Like you could hear a lot of your songs and go, oh, that's about a relationship or if it's about a boy or a girl or whatever that is. But also you're saying this isn't necessarily the case. It, it's about just I was feeling all of these things at once about probably 100 different things. Yeah, yeah. we wrote it. Like you said, it sounds like I'm singing to a boy and. It was a lot of moments in my life being a young girl in this industry and whether it was like a sound man that I had that was just not the nicest or like there was a guy at a Starbucks in Nashville. So he's the sound like, guys, you know, you're <laughs> so great. <laughs> you're great. <laughs> Appreciate you and the reverb on this mic.